This is the third video for customer consignment process. And is consignment return. In this step, customer returns good because they are damaged or other reason for for return. Again, as the rest of the processes, I will open another session with the stock overview. So this is the initial situation. We have right now 15 units in customer consignment. So let's start with the process and again like the other processes we will list the module SD sales and distribution. Let's start again with the with the process sales. First step again is creating the sales order VA01. Let's create it. In this case, the order type is returns here. The, the rest of the data will keep the same sales organization, distribution channel, and, and division. I will fill all the required fields from the party. Shift the party. I will introduce a customer reference, which is consignment. And I will fill the material. And the order quantity material is 1988. And order quantity, 45. We will we will return five units. Uh, sorry, customer will return five units due to being damaged. So first point we have to add right now here is the order reason. Let's open the options and I will show you which options we have. I will choose damage in transit. Important to say that billing block is credit check credit memo. I click in, enter and again in enter. I will save it and complete the document with the incomplete clause. So I will edit it and see what, what are the fields that are missing. Let's start with plant. Plant, I will fill 1990. So 
the right location on the mountain and click into shipping point is determined automatically let's go back and we have shipping let's wait for instance one kilo let's go back again Info terms and, and payment terms. We don't fi we can fill here, so we need to go to the first screen. Let's go back and here. Payment terms for our example immediately. Info terms. For our example, cost and rent and location for this example, Germany. Let's click it and I, I will say customer return has been saved, so document is complete. I'll go back and edit sales order view zero two. In procurement, by default, the confirmation quantity is filled, so we don't need to, to do anything else. Let's go back without without saving. And we can create the outbound delivery. So let's go to shipping and transportation VL01 and shipping point will, will be the same that, that the other examples, selection date and order are by default. Let's check first the status overview. In, the, in, this, in this process, we only need to, to do the good receipt. So let's put post good receipt. The new return delivery has been saved. Let's check it. this transaction. Now the status overview has been complete so we don't need to do, to do anything else in this step. Let's check in the other session the stock overview how how it has changed. Now, because because the customer has refunded five units to us, we have five t five units in customer consignment. So this is the third step for customer consignment process.